Well, I'm delighted that we're hosting Mission Discovery once again in Ayrshire College. And this is a, a great opportunity for young people across Ayrshire to be able to take part in an event that can really make a, a, a difference to their lives. Mission Discovery gives young people the opportunity to do something quite incredible. The International Space Station and space exploration represents the pinnacle of human achievement. Mission Discovery doesn't only give young people the opportunity to work with astronauts, NASA leaders, world famous scientists that actually drive humanity's biggest exploration program, it actually gives them the chance to participate directly by getting their ideas, their creativity carried out on the International Space Station. Imagine being one of the young people on Mission Discovery who wakes up on the last morning of the program knowing that they could actually be a participant in humanity's greatest adventure. It's a STEM-based program where students get to work with NASA personnel to come up with a science experiment which by the end of the week will be launched up to the International Space Station and conducted by astronauts. But only one winning team gets to send their experiment up, so the whole week is built around leadership and personal development, so every student actually gets to leave with something. If you can leave as a more confident person and have um, hard work as an ethic, then that's, that's what we feel like we've done our job then. So Mission Discovery is really unique in the way it, it takes students who know nothing about space and gets them to the point where they have something going to space by the end of the week. Um, there's no other opportunity in the world that offers that. Well, first of all, we really want them to enjoy themselves. And I think if they enjoy themselves, then the things that we teach them during this week, the skills that we teach them, the teamwork, the leadership, and even some of the science and engineering that we teach them, it will get them more enthusiastic about where they want to take their careers. I was full of anticipation as to what ideas that the students would have come up with, and I was very surprised. Always when I come to Mission Discovery, I end up being surprised at new ideas come up that I would never have thought of. It's such good ideas, so relevant to the future in space and on Earth. I think it's just sort of taking it on board and kind of run with it. They have to come up with lots of ideas at first and then develop the one idea sort of further. I think they, they themselves are really quite impressed with like, what they've managed to achieve. And within half an hour of the first couple of team building exercises, you could see their faces light up and they were starting to really get into it. And it's a great team building event for them. Uh, it's been really good. Uh, we have put into groups and the group's experience is really nice. Just being able to talk about your ideas about space and just develop them is a really nice experience to have. So we use each other's um, skills and strengths to develop the idea into something feasible. I think because obviously it's something that's going up into the space station, there is a lot of constraints and restrictions you need to follow. So when you do come up with an idea, it might sound amazing, but when you actually start to kind of narrow it down and think, is this actually, would this actually work? So there is a lot of things you have to sort of stick to and think about. My team have been through quite a lot of ideas. Um, but we've got an idea now and we're quite, we're quite happy with it but it's been good because like, we've, we've found it quite difficult but at the same time we've worked together and we've made it through it so we're quite happy. Well I've really enjoyed the challenges to be honest like I didn't really know ex like, what to expect before I came here but coming together with strangers and working through these problems that have actually been quite tough yeah I find that really rewarding. We thought it was such a great idea to support the, the, the kids and they get so much out of it at the end of the day. They'll go away possibly with a certificate but they'll be able to put it on their CV and have something to show when they go to college or university or get their first job. So we, we were very enthusiastic about it and having come to see it, we were even more enthusiastic and want to get some of the other Rotary Clubs involved for next year. I'm hoping to um, kind of further my education in the kind of science-based stuff. Um, I'm really looking to go into um, diabetic research, so um, I'm really hoping that this will give me more confidence in the kind of science-based field um, and something good to, to show towards employers and um, universities and things like that. For the last few years I've really wanted to become, like go to a uni and that and study astrophysics, which would be really good if I could do that. I think a, a huge element of space development has to be about inspiring kids to go into STEM type uh, subjects. 
I think it's wonderful, actually. It's better than I expected it to be. I think you know, it, it, the, the success that this project is having is phenomenal, and um, it can only get better. Yeah, it enthuses lots and lots of young people, but I think um, I think actually enthuses a lot of older people as well. You know, it's, it's the parents, it's the you know, and the families and supporters and sponsors. Um, and, and Nats is, uh, is quite a, a big employer of STEM type uh, staff in, in the area, so it just seemed like a logical fit for us to try and support a, a big STEM event like this. If they could walk away from the event with um, aspiration, but not just the, to increase their aspiration and really have belief that if it's something they want to do, do not let anyone put you off. Um, it can be done, it can be achieved. Look around the room, look at the team. Mike Foles, a living example. Um, you know, he's British. He made it happen, he had a dream, and he made it happen. And that's what, if they could leave there, leave the event this week, um, with just a glimmer of that, it would be amazing. The students always surprise me. They absolutely always surprise me. I, my background is in engineering. They come up with some things that I have never heard of. I don't know where that comes from. They come up with awesome experiments. And not only that, we try to teach them how to present that material. They are even surprised themselves at how well they present. They're nervous at first. And I tell them, you're going to be uncomfortable get comfortable with being uncomfortable and I've even had some students come to me and say thank you for that advice I did something this week I didn't realize I could do. What the students really learn is how to work in teams how to listen to others as they explain their ideas and then how to present them to their peers in a big forum with adult judges and their own uh, schoolmates watching them and it develops the person to the point where they become much more confident in themselves and uh, also they develop an interest in, in science um, and the possibilities of science or, or engineering or maths uh, as a career option. So these are the, they're not spin-offs, they're really actually the mainstream of why, why Mission Discovery is so useful to the students that take part. So, the winner of Mission Discovery discovery here in Great Scotland is oh, I'm so excited oh my god I'm so excited team three pretty surreal experience actually to be here with so many people um, and just come out on top um, well, I've always struggled with presenting and I feel like this week's actually helped me a lot with it. But I did feel really confident when we were doing it, but I didn't expect this outcome, so I'm like overwhelmed to be honest. But I didn't expect it to like win, it's really good. I'm really surprised. In all, it's an absolutely brilliant experience. Whoever has the chance to do it should definitely take that opportunity. I would say do it definitely. Now that I'm here and I've done it, I think it's been a great week. A great way to meet new people and just fling yourself into something new. I would say go for it. I think that what we've seen here this week just demonstrates the, the passion that everyone has for science and engineering. So it's for me, it's a privilege to have all of the young people here this week. The lasting effect is to realise that you can do it you can become anything that you want. If you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to sort of find good teachers, mentors, listen to your parents, listen to people who are role models, and then strike out fear of failure. People who are successful don't get everything right. They do things wrong, but then they get up, they dust themselves off and carry on. So the legacy is, don't be frightened to try things and you can become whatever you want to be. If you've been inspired by this video and you would like to sponsor Mission Discovery 2018, then please contact us at Ayrshire College. We'd be delighted to talk to you about the opportunities available. Thank you.